Okay, this is my tutorial on how to make slow motion video with Adobe Premiere Pro and your GoPro Hero 3. So first thing we got to do is get our footage in there and we want to find the spot that we want to make slow motion. Now what we're going to do is go regular motion, slow motion, then regular motion. I've had a few requests for this and a few questions on my videos, so it's pretty simple. So that flip was okay, but it really wasn't as close up as I want. I want the effect of the snow really going everywhere. So she's jumping, and then she's going to do a backflip here, and that's going to be really nice for slow motion. So it's 240 frames a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that little section, we're going to drag it down into here. I did that with the little handles on the on the clip tool. Now because we are in a 720p project, I needed to upscale that by about 150%. Um, I did that with the uh, the scale tool there uh, on the clip. Um, so we're going to find the point that we want to be slow motion right there. So now I'm going to go over here and get my razor tool where I split the video. That's where I'm going to split it. And then I need to find the spot where I want it to be regular motion again. So after the flip is over. And somewhere right in there take the razor tool again and cut it again. Now I want to drag this the part that's going to be regular motion out of the way. I'm going to get that scooted over there. Now this is the stretch tool, the rate stretch tool. We're going to drag it and stretch it. Remember 240 frames a second so you can see a little indicator there that shows how many percent that your, your footage is. Now I want to drag it down probably about 10 percent, somewhere close, just where I think it, it looks right. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, Adobe Pro, Premiere Pro is pretty good at that. So I'm going to drag it pretty slow because I want that slow motion effect of that snow flying before it goes back to normal speed. I want it to look really nice and slow. Now this is without Twixter. This is just actual frames slowed down, which I think is really cool about the, the GoPro Hero 3. Um, before you could do effects that look like this, but you were missing a lot of information. The computer was just making a bunch of stuff up. So that's the clip, and I want to watch it, make sure it looks about the way I want it to, and that'll do me.